So I don't know about you, but every once in a while I keep a little bit of money in my pocket uh, just because I don't want to have to debit card you know, my wife's Diet Pepsi addiction or anything like that when she needs a soda. And so I always keep a couple dollars. And invariably what happens is I start to accumulate a little bit of spare change in my pocket. And um, if you're like me, you know, you end up with, let's see here, about 46 cents or so that just kind of just gets left over. Now, one of the three things can happen. Either A, I forget about it, it becomes laundered money and it uh, starts clanking around in the dryer. Um, B, uh, I end up putting it in some sort of jar or something like that when I remember that I actually have something. And then I forget about the jar until someday it's just like, oh yeah, we were saving for, I don't remember what I was saving for. Or C, it, uh, I usually take it out of my pocket. It goes on my nightstand until it starts spilling over onto the floor, in which case it's like, why do I have all this change? Well, we have this fun jar here now that's going to be the solution to all of my life's problems and probably some of yours too. So this money isn't as clean as if I forget about it and it goes through the laundry, but it certainly, it can go to do something a little bit better. And so I just kind of challenge you that if you end up with, you know, uh, three nickels, a penny, and a quarter, um, that you can find something good and useful for it to do here and you can put it in the jar. Plus, it does have the added bonus. Since it's a glass jar, when you throw it in, you've got a very satisfying sound. So there you go. And now it's a burden right off of us. And I think that's why God calls us to be generous in giving people, is because it takes the burden of some of this extra stuff and it says, hey, I'll take the burden. I know the best place for this money to go. And we, a lot of times, do not. So... Let's go to the Father in prayer.